Hello family and welcome back to our channel. Dale Chanel's 48th World with the family. Yes, the family affair. We are here. I'm like Wendy Williams. I'm hosting this show and y'all are my co-hosts. Okay, we got to get down and we got to talk about some stuff, honey. Because Nene is doubling back on that story about she didn't mean to or she didn't want to spit on Kenya. But now she's saying, girl, she wish she had her. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care about what nobody is talking about. That is nasty. Is this, that, and the third? How can you been acting out here? I believe if Kenya was on fire, the only thing you had to use was your spit to get her off of being on fire. Nene probably would turn the other way and run down the street. <laughs> And when she come back, can you build a just a, a charcoal mess, a charcoal burnt mess, okay? Cause Nene say ain't having it. She told Kenya, honey, this ain't what you ever want. This is not this not what you want, girl. <laughs> oh, Nene said this is not what you want, Lord. I was like, uh uh, I almost fell off the floor out my seat. Oh, she gave me a chuckle that time, and I did see her being the queen <laughs> that had HBIC. Because, see, that's what the old GB saying. Honey, this ain't what you want. Because <laughs> I get a hold of you, and I be shaking you every which way but loose. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Yeah, but we're going to get on into this story before we get into the story that uh, CheatSheet.com brought out, hun. We got to say... Thank you, family, for coming over, visiting with me, getting down in them comments, telling me your truth, okay, how your perspective goes on subject matter. And I do be appreciating it because some of y'all be making me laugh, child. Y'all be making me laugh. And I want to say, could you elaborate a little bit more? <laughs> Or uh, can we Skype one another and put each other on where I talk to you and I have you on my flip side of my camera and we could just tell each other and be with the family as well. And like, why, why did you make that comment, girl? What was you feeling when you said that, girl? Elaborate another time for me. Woo, child, but that may be coming. I might have to call some of my family on the phone. And if they got a computer con a connection, <laughs> we might have to link up. And I might have to say, Woo, tell me what you said when you said that in that comment, girl. A young man, honey. I don't know. I got to check with my daughter to see if we can do that, honey. We can do <laughs> Whoever is willing to come on, show their face with me. I'm talking about my family. Okay, I ain't talking about another YouTuber. I'm not talking about no celebrity. I'm talking about me and my family come on the screen and just talk shit. You hear what I'm saying? I ain't got no money to pay you. You just be coming on like family. But, you know, that's just something I would like to do later on down the road. If you heard and you see somebody else doing it, you know they stole it from the family. And that's Dale Chanel's family. Uh, <coughs> Dale Chanel's 48 World Family Affair. Okay, they stole it from us. I just don't know how to do a lot of stuff right now. But give me time. Give me time. <laughs> Woo! Child, but anyway, let's go on into giving thanks for my wonderful family who come over and give me their time and they want to sit and put their comments in the uh comment section and interact with me and the rest of the family. Yes, Lord, we be crewing down here, honey. But thank you, Sunny or uh, Sunny Dillard, AW, I'm sorry, AVW, Karen. Is it Swave or Suave? Uh, Rosalie, uh, Rosalie Parker, Helen Williams, or is that Willis? I think it's Willis. Shit, I don't know, Helen. You know, girl. You know, I be writing these names down instead of reading them off my phone. So, charge it to my head, not my heart, baby. Okay, and then we got Rexy H. We got Vin Weber, and we got Sunshine Valley. I know, honey. Sunshine, you need to stay on in here because I like seeing Sunshine Valley. It just made me think of something like when you're down in the dumps or whatever. When I see Sunshine Valley, I say, whoo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sunshine is in the building. Okay, so thank you for naming your little uh, name, Sunshine Valley, girl. And then we got none other and none the less. She's still family here, there, and everywhere. She might have been the last, but she may be the first. Okay, we got Emma Williams up in here. All right, so give love to yourself, hugs, and kisses. And we're going to get on into this story. Because some of my family members don't like me to tarry too long. They say I talk too damn long. <laughs> I'm like, it just 
depends on what I'm talking about, Lord. It just depends on what I'm talking about. You know you got one of those family members that would just keep you in their house and just be talking, talking, and talking, and talking. Sometimes you be like, okay, I've got to go now. And then sometimes you be like, what, when, where? For you know we've been on top two or three, four hours, okay? Longer than what you had anticipated and staying over here. But it just is what it is. It just is what it is. But yes, honey, we got this story by Armando. Uh, Tenneco, he's over there working, being a journalist, a commentarist, I don't know, over there at CheatSheet.com. And he wrote up an article that was titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta, NeNe Leaks doubles down on drama, says Kenya Moore needs to be spat on. Yeah, she needs to be spat on. And I'm, you know, I, I kind of, now at first I had said, no, nah, no, 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 nobody need to be over there being spit on. Because we don't know everybody's health issues. I still stand by that. But sometimes when people just make you mad or a person just make you mad and you know you be going between, Lord, if I put my hands on them, I know I ain't going to let them go. I'm, I, oh, I'm going to choke the living shit out of you. I know y'all be saying that and then you'd be like, whoo, if I could just spit on her. <laughs> Say it's just like you just be going through a conniption, like you just black out, and whatever happens just happens, okay? So I understand Nene can't get her hands on her and, and hold her and don't let her go, but shake her, shake her, shake her, shake her, like she's shaking some chicken on some in a bag with some flour on it, okay? So since she couldn't say, couldn't do that in her mind, I guess the next best thing was to spit on them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't gonna say it, but Nene an OG like that, an old dirty dog like that. You know, when you have to get down dirty and, and grind you with it, shoot, you, anything can happen. You know how they saying you're trying to defend your life when somebody coming at you, you're gonna pick up everything you can toss at that joker, okay? And if it is what it is, it just is what it is, okay? So, not saying I definitely 100% agree, but I understand what Nene was feeling. It's like, let me just get something. Let me just hit on the head with something. Let me just choke the living shit out of her. Or, or let me just spit on You know what I'm saying? It just all comes. So, I can understand. I can understand. It ain't right. It ain't right. No, it ain't. But I can understand. Because I've been watching Kenya this whole season 12. And I'm like, she was working with Jay-Z trying to be a little... Uh, model on Inst well, not probably Instagram, but you know them video thoughts when we start having videos come out with their music and she's one of the background dancers or models. See, that's the kind of atmosphere King was putting herself in, trying to make money, trying to be in that Hollywood lifestyle. But Jay Z didn't even want it. Then she gonna have a nerve to say she look like Beyonce. I'm like, where can you? Where girl? Where honey? Even in that beautiful, fabulous pose, you still don't come close to Beyonce, girl. Stay in your lane. Yes. Yes, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. Uh, your body's tight and right. But damn, your attitude is fucked up from the flow up, girl. So that's what it all makes you look ugly and not desirable. So maybe Jay-Z saw it like, nah, honey, I can't put up with you. You got too much mouth. And then... You try to, like, you want to run men? And he, he like, uh-uh, you can't run me now. I run B all day long, okay? And it seemed like, you know, B be to towing the line and she be letting him do what he going to do out there, okay? And we don't know what be happening behind those. No, uh, Beyonce might kick be kicking his butt down them uh, steps and everything else. But, you know, they come out smelling like a rose when they come out in front of the public. But, see, Kenya, she like to put people on front street. You know, Greg, uh, not Greg, uh... What's his name? Mark. He don't like it. He shuts her down every time he gets it. She had Matt. Matt kind of let her, let her walk all over him. But then he had told Kenya, girl, this ain't what you want. You ain't going to never need this, honey. Because when you get it, you ain't going to want it. I'm, try I'm trying to tell you. So we're going to get on into his this little story, okay? The article was written on February 24th yesterday. Uh... And that's where we're getting it from, okay? But it goes, Nene Leaks is not holding back on her tongue. Uh, well, she's not, wait a minute. She's not holding back her tongue on the Real Housewives of Atlanta's drama. And I'm like, go in and let have, Nene. Go in and let have, okay? Because that's what we want. We want drama. So, can you got to be the one that you give drama to? Then so be it. Because either it's going to be you giving it to her or her giving it to you. That's all it is. Because she ain't no friend. She's a foe to everyone. We thought her and Portia were going to make up and do the darn thing. And look like they getting back to being sour grapes with one another. Because uh, Portia riding hard for Tanya. And Tanya, like I said this time, we don't know how she's going to turn out. But she seemed to be, you know, a nice little young lady running around and trying to do the you know, trying to do a longevity type of scenery. She don't want to come off as pushing fate, but she wants to be, you know, in the limelight. 
Uh, and then we got Andy Cohen, you know. He was taking up for Nene, the OG. He said, I ain't trying to push Nene out. Whatever scenes Nene was filmed, then we showed all her scenes, okay? And then we got Yvonne, you know. It was claimed that, you know, she tried to throw Nene under the bus, but they was all in cahoots, so she can't really come back and say shit like that. You know you want to be a part of it, but, you know, hey, it might be some time. Don't talk bad about Nene right now because you might want to come back. She might say, yeah, bring on back. She was a good player on my team. She was a good player. So, Yvonne, hush, honey, hush out there. Okay, we got Kenya. That's enough. And <coughs> we try to dismiss her as quick as she came back because I heard people in my family they said brain fraser brett <laughs> and i'm like god damn that's right brain fraser back if we could bring everybody else back under the sun i think fraser done paid enough for her discrepancy and if candy go out there and make a dungeon tour of a sex scandal thing and she's making money off of brain fraser back that would be a great line up i'm telling you we'll be tuning in honey even if she had to come back as a friend or nini's okay <laughs> <laughs> because she already hanging out there with Apollo and Apollo's fiance. Okay, yes, Nene is hanging with everybody. She apologizing to everybody, and it's just a good old thing. Especially when Keith said it wasn't nobody on Nene's side. Now I don't tear it too long. I don't got in my own side, boy. And see, yeah, let Phaedra come back. We want Phaedra. We want Phaedra. Yes. Throw Kenya to the side, hey, throw Kenya to the side. But I promise you, if you bring Phaedra Pauls back as a friend of the family, ooh, we gonna have some drama because Candy will be mad. Kenya will be mad. <laughs> And Portia, she'll probably be like going in between because she's going to play on that winning team. Yes, Lord, Portia going to play on that winning team. But she probably won't be sized up too much with uh, Phaedra because Phaedra kind of almost got her put off the show as long as hers. But, yeah, then he hanging out with Apollo. And I wish Apollo just get rid of that beard because that's just not a sexy look. All of it need to go. He need to be back clean face. But, anyway, just see is what it is. I guess he's trying to show his Muslim look. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're going back to the article. It said, both Bravo stars have been at odds with each other throughout season 12 and have taken their feud, feud to the press. Okay. What is Spitgate? Do anybody know what Spitgate is? Well, I'm going to tell you because this person wrote it down for us to preview on. Okay. They say Spitgate is the new controversy around the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast that was produced during the current season of the show. The confrontation involves more and leaks who have been trying to avoid each other during filming. In a preview for what's ahead on the reality stars, fans were able to see the infamous moment that has caused a ruckus on social media. Yes, Lord. And the clips leaks is seen hawking up saliva to attack more with her spit. The scene is not as clear as Bravo is only teasing it so people could stay tuned on the show. And we ain't gonna really go into it because it's just a... a, 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 a we caught uh, several clips that's put together of some stuff we really already seen. But we trying to see on what episode is they going to show her hogging up stuff. Even if she had to swallow it back down. But I, everybody probably would say, we want Phaedra. We want Phaedra. Go on and spit on her knee knee. <laughs> and then fall out. Spit and fall out. It's kind of like you had a conniption. You don't know what happened, Okay. But it just is what it is. Even if you spit, not at Kenya, but around Kenya. You know how you the person be sitting in front of you or facing you, and you just spit on the side of them? Yeah, that would have been okay, Nene. At least it would have hit the ground and not Kenya. Okay, because they already think you crazy. You ain't got no sense, and you washed up anyway. Go on out with a bang, child. But don't spit on Just spit beside her if you must, okay? And you could just say, I wish that was you. <laughs> okay? But then it said... Going back to the article, because you know all that was my sidebar. Did Nene Leek spit on Kenya Moore? Well, Leek's had categori categorically denied that she actually spat on Moore. She has said that she only acted like she was going to do it. However, the Glee alum said in a recent interview that she wished she had done it. And I know, I said, Nene, I know you did, honey, because how Kenya been acting towards you, girl, huh? Ooh, and you can't put your hands on her because that would be an assault charge. And Kenya would love it. She would love it. She would have you spend time in jail and, and, and wondering when she's going to let up and say, I don't want to press charges. But no, I can't. She probably said, press charges, press charges, okay? So we were glad. So glad you didn't spit. But I know you wanted to get a hold of her and shake her every which way but loose. I know you just wanted to wrap her up on the floor, drag her, 
on the floor, put up on the wall. I know, but you know you can't touch nobody these days. It ain't like the old days. You fight a day and you get to live another day. Meaning you don't pick up no weapons or you know of your choice. You know the the count somebody out and have them be demised. You know what I'm saying? No, you just fight out there with your hands and by the time y'all get tussling for about five minutes, y'all be so tired. You know, that's that, I think it was called Parenthood. She was up there being a D-list actress. Yes, okay. Can't have tried her, her times with acting on TV. She only gave her little cameo parts. Like I said, it was Parenthood. It was Martin Lawrence, that little scene she had acting like a thought. Uh, or whore, or however you see it, see it or whatever, trophy wife or somebody that really dresses wife like a whore, you know what I'm saying, showing all her assets for everybody to partake of, as well as, you know, himself, they probably were swinging, who knows, it just is what it is, Martin told it best when he was trying to pitch her against Gina, and he's like, nah, baby, you class and not trash, I don't want your assets to be out our ass to like that okay but it just is what it is and like i say jay-z didn't want it. he probably uh, had sex with and all that kind of thing thing can you probably went on with it it just is what it is all speculation all speculation i don't know i'm just talking shit okay just giving what i'm thinking in my head to my family okay i could do that because my family don't care they want me to express my opinions and so they can get down and express theirs sometimes we might argue we might have some fuss words with one another but then we just come back and say okay when i'm gonna come see you when you gonna put out another video <laughs> <laughs> so he can talk about it, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, you know, that's my sidebar. It says, I don't even know what was going through my mind in that moment. This is Nene talking, y'all. But what I do know is I didn't spit on her. But I sort of kind of wish I had, Leeks told Entertainment Tonight. And everybody like, okay, okay, I can see it. I ain't going to say it, but I tell you off air, I feel the same way. I wanted to spit on her too, okay? But that's just my sidebar, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says the relationship relationship between Leeks and Moore doesn't seem to be going down a path of reconciliation. Leeks reinforced her comments and said Moore deserves to be spit on. I'm just going to be honest about it because I just think some of the things Kenya says is really nasty and really dirty and I just feel like Girl, you are just, you probably need to be spit on. You just probably need to be. And it may not sound great, but she probably needs to be spit on. And I have no sympathy for her. I just don't. Leaks at it. Now, see, I know, I know when you get mad, you get frustrated at a certain thing or a certain person, you'll be thinking that way. But in hindsight, you'll be wishing that you didn't do what you did or you're glad you didn't do what you wanted to do to that person or thing. Okay? So, I get it, got it good, Nene. I, I get it, got it good. But then we go uh, back on still in the article. It says, Kenya Moore shades Nene Leaks. In the middle of their ongoing feud, Moore suggested that Bravo producers were trying to fire Leaks due to the fact that Leaks has not been in all the episodes more said producers are phasing her out of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She tries so hard to tell people she's the HBIC more said to ET in an interview. She thinks wait a minute, she the she the this, she's the that, she's the originator. Oh, the real premiere just starts. And in fact, her presence now is not impactful at all. She's missed out on at least 45 episodes this season. So that clearly means the network is sending you a message. You're not as important as you think you are. Well, Kenya, if we thought what you thought, you know, whatever, when you thought you were going to hide your allegedly marriage and everything, your wedding from Bravo, you thought you still going to be on the show, baby, they showed you the dough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they showed you the dough. All right, you spent a season or two or a season and a half off of the show. And you knew that was your bread and butter. So you were like coming back to them trying to get in negotiations. And they were looking at your stats. They said, okay, I guess we'll have dinner with her. We'll have lunch and see what she's talking. And then we can come to a meeting of the minds. But she ain't coming back for a meal. She ain't coming back for a meal. And I'm not talking about a lunch meal. I'm talking about one million. Okay, we're going to bring her back for 500000 See what she got. See what she take the bait. And sure, she did hook, line, and sinker. And there we go. We had Kenya Moore as an extra coming back on the show. <laughs> okay? And she playing her part. Okay? She playing her part. But in the way, we go back to the article. It says, Moore feels that Leeks causes unnecessary drama on the show and she's her own enemy. Well, isn't that a two-way mirror, Kenya? Is that not a two-way mirror? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Are you not just like your enemy? Are you and Nene not 
nemesis of each other. Okay. I'm just saying, girl. Not in this article. Just my sidebar. Okay. It says, Nene has been on the show for a very long time. And I just think the cast is not gelling with her. She's always put herself on an island. She makes these fights with people that don't actually have to occur. And she really is the cause of her own demise. More added. Some Okay. If something sounds very familiar. Aren't you doing the same shit to Tanya? Girl. Aren't you doing the same shit to Tanya? And she is an honorary friend of the family. Okay? Yes. She's an honorary friend of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She don't even have a peach. Are you coming at her strong? Are you intimidated, Kenya? Girl, are you intimidated? I'm just saying. But then we go back to the article. It says, Leek says denied she's been cut out of Real Housewives episodes. And Andy Cohen backed her up on those claims. Okay? And that was pretty much of that particular episode, guys, of that article. So, y'all get down in them comments. And y'all tell me what y'all think about what I just produced to you all. Get on in them comments. Tell me. All right, come on. Get it to go. Get it to go. Get in them comments and interact and talk to me about subject matter, okay? But I'll be back with y'all for another video. And we'll get down and talk about that next topic I'm going to bring up. Love and kisses to you all. Hey, uh, Anna Banana, I'm still thinking about you, still praying for you. Wish you come more into the, um, what do you call it, the chat section. And get down and tell me what you think, okay? Not just that one sentence or whatever. Get down and talk to me. This is our time together. And if anybody try to come over and say some shit unnecessarily, we just block them. Yes, we just take them on out the house, honey. And say, until you act right, you you on suspension. We don't want to see you up here for a couple of, you know, a couple of times. Because sometimes, you know, people be doing some things crazy. We don't want to totally block the family. But sometimes we can't deal with certain family members at the time okay so anna banana you come on girl tell me what's going on tell me what you feel about subject matter girl take your mind off whatever you got going on all right any other family members hell come and let's talk about something else at least you won't think about what you really are stressing out about or you know what's getting on your nerves you just have a little fool la la time with me damn okay but that's all i got for this video guys y'all uh definitely continue to share my videos tell people to come over here to the family join us okay I meaning subscribe and like my videos guys all right see you next video uh see you later